Johnsonville is America's number one sausage brand. That's the end of this story, which starts with a mom and pop butcher shop in an unincorporated Wisconsin town. But the most interesting parts are in the middle, where a series of decisions made differently could have altered sausage history forever. Let's start in 1945, when Ralph F. Steyer and his wife Alice decided to move from Milwaukee. Ralph took the day off work to see a shop for sale in New Holstein. When he arrived, the owner wasn't around. With only one day off, Ralph drove straight to the pioneer settlement of Johnsonville and bought a building for $11,500. Nestled on the banks of the Sheboygan River, Johnsonville got its name when the townspeople requested one more respectable than the previous moniker, Schnapsville. Imagine, America's number one sausage brand could have been called Schnapsville or New Holstein instead of Johnsonville. It also might not have been a sausage company at all. For a while, the stayers considered opening a flower shop. Fortunately for sausage lovers everywhere, Ralph had a secret family recipe for bratwurst, not begonias. So Ralph started making sausage out of really great meat instead of scraps like most butchers of the day. It worked. Early on, a man named Ed Sinner brought his lunch wagon by Johnsonville Meats. He ordered 40 pounds of hamburger and five pounds of bratwurst. Six months later, Ed bought just five pounds of hamburger and 40 pounds of brats, and Ralph and Alice knew they had something. But life wasn't always easy, like when an ice jam on the Sheboygan River created the flood of 1959. Ralph and Alice had a choice surrender their business, or call in Dynamite Bill, a World War I explosives expert living nearby in an abandoned cheese factory. Dynamite Bill blew up the ice jam and saved Johnsonville Meats. Years later, Ralph and Alice's son, Ralph C. Steyer, graduated from college. His professor said he should become a physicist. Ralph said, nope, I'm going home to make sausage with my dad. As he began running Johnsonville, Ralph noticed the workers weren't especially motivated. Eventually, he realized they weren't the problem, he was. Ralph stopped trying to control everything and created the Johnsonville Way, an idea about shared decision-making and accountability. Johnsonville started referring to its employees as members and made them responsible for everything. Sometimes everything meant cooking sausage inside a moving motorhome, which is exactly what Ralph's sister Lana was doing as Johnsonville expanded beyond Wisconsin. In 1981, Johnsonville decided to advertise. The team debated what product to put in its first commercial, ring bologna or... Charlie Murphy's cooking Johnsonville brats! Johnsonville brats! Folks can't resist the simply great taste of Johnsonville brats. The commercial helped make Johnsonville the stuff of legend. And now it's for sale in 50 states and on five continents. Something Ralph and Alice probably never imagined. Where it goes from here? depends on what the members decide next.